merciful than Lord Chaitanya. And, and a one of the great associates of Lord Nityananda, his disappearance day was this week. His name, Purushottam Das Thakur. Purushottam Das Thakur was the was one of the associates of uh, Lord Nityananda. There is a very uh, wonderful verse about Purushottam Das Thakur, uh, where it says in Gora Ganodesh Deepika, it explains who Purushottam Das Thakur was. Gaur Ganodesh Deepika is written by uh, Kavi Karnapura, who is the son of Shivananda Sain, explaining who was who in from Lord Chaitanya's pastime, who was in Lord Krishna's pastime. So Sri Purushottam Das Thakur, it says, Sada Shiva Suto Namna Nagara Purushottama Vaidyavam Sod Bhavo Namna Dama Yo Vallavo Vraje Nagar Purushottam was previously the cowherd named Dama in Vraja. He is now born in a Vaidya family as the son of Sada Shiva. So the father of uh, the father of Purushottam Das Thakur, his name was Sadashiv Kaviraj. That's why it says Sadashiv Suto Namna. And his name became Nagar Purushottam. Uh, but uh, he was called Purushottam Das Thakur. He was, from his childhood, he was just so attached to Lord Nityananda. But in his Krishna Leela, he is one of the 12 Gopas, the 12 Priya Sakhas of Krishna. Who are known as Gopas? He was uh, he was the Gopa named Dama. There are ten, twelve uh, Gopas who are very dear to Krishna, who are confidential uh, associates, uh, friends, cowherd boyfriends of Krishna. They are Sri Dama, Sudama, Dama, uh, Vasudama, Kinkini, Stoka Krishna, Asnu, uh, and uh, Bhadrasena. Uh, Poundraka and uh, Poundarka and Viktanka and Kalavinka. So Dama, Sridama, Sudama, Dama, Vasudama. Dama is Purushottam Das Thakur. And he was born in a family where four generations were actually eternal associates of Lord Krishna. His grandfather was Kamsari Sain. Kamsari, Kamsa, Kam, Kamsari means the enemy of Kamsa, which is Krishna. And Kamsari Sain is said to be Ratnavali Sakhi of Srimati Radharani. Purushottam Das Thakur's grandfather was Kamsari Sain. Purushottam Das Thakur's father was Sadashiv Kaviraj, who is considered to be Chandravali. And uh, he himself, as the third generation, was Dhamma. And his son was Kanu Thakur. Kanu Thakur was uh, also one of the Gopas. So four generations of uh, eternally perfect direct associates of Lord Krishna. When Kanu Thakur, his son, was born on the Rath Yatra day, after a few days, his wife Janava, uh, who had who shared the same name as Lord Nityananda Prabhu's wife, she left this world, and Lord Nityananda was so affectionate to Purushottam Das Thakur that he personally came and took care of. Kanu Thakur, and he actually at that time named the son Shishu Krishna Das, that baby Krishna Das, Shishu Krishna Das, his name was. And later, Jiva Goswami, later, the Shishu Krishna Das, when he was five years old, Janava Mata personally adopted Shishu Krishna Das, the son of Purushottam Das Thakur, because he didn't have a mother at that time. 
Janava Devi, the wife of Lord Nityananda, personally adopted her and adopted him and took him to Vrindavan with her and introduced him to all the Goswamis, all the devotees, especially Jiva Goswami. And Jiva Goswami uh, named, very affectionately named Shishu Krishna Das as Kanu Thakur. And that's how he came to be known as uh, Sri Kanu Thakur, uh, Purushottam Das Thakur's son. In fact, Kanu Thakur was famous because he was dancing in Vrindavan and he was dancing so ecstatically that his ankle bell flew away. And it, say, it says that his ankle bell flew and came to Bengal. And his he said, wherever my ankle bell uh, goes, that's where I will stay. So Kanu Thakur stays, stayed in Jessore, uh, Bengal. He was also there in the Keturi Gram festival, the famous festival. The first Gaur Purnima was arranged in Keturi Gram by Narottam Das Thakur and Janava Mata was there and, and Kanu Thakur was also there. And it was very famous in that first Gaur Purnima festival arranged by all these great Acharyas. Lord Chaitanya, even though he had disappeared from this world, he personally appeared in that festival, in that Kirtan in Keturi Gram, the Gaur Purnima Kirtan, when devotees started chanting and dancing, they could see Lord Chaitanya amongst them. And Kanu Thakur was in that great assembly. Kanu Thakur was son again of Purushottam Das Thakur and Purushottam Das Thakur's, he had a few disciples. One of the disciples was Madhava Chattopadhyay, also known as Madhava Charya. He was uh, the son-in-law of Lord Nityananda, was a disciple of Purushottam Das Thakur, Madhava Charya. Uh, he was married to Lord Nityananda's daughter, Ganga Devi, and uh, uh, she, yeah, he was a disciple of Purushottam Das Thakur. This is the glory of Purushottam Das Thakur. He was so absorbed in Lord Nityananda's meditation and, and, and kirtan that one time he drank snake poison, but he did not have any effect because he was in such a trance at that time. So we pray to Sri Purushottam Das Thakur and to his entire family of great devotees to allow us to take shelter of Lord Nityananda, to take shelter of Lord Nityananda's representative, Srila Prabhupada and our Guru Maharajas and all the previous Acharyas. <laughs>